What's up YouTube, Afro Savage here, and <laughs> I started this gameplay, you know, I started showing a little late, but uh, as you can see right there, someone dropped my team, <laughs> dropped a care package, and I stole it. I didn't know he was coming for it. I thought he just left it and died, so you know, I just grabbed it, but and when I saw that he was behind me, I wasn't going to let go. So I took it anyways, and it was wrapped, so you know, I couldn't let go of that. So I, I dropped on the wraps, and you know, I was lucky getting that to begin when you see it already starts killing. <laughs> Watch the feeds. So yeah, this guy's trying to hide in the corner. He can't hide. He can't escape from the Kuda. You know, the Kuda is too vicious. No one can escape yet. That's two kills right now. Three. They're all rushing here. I think I'm at their spawn, and the wraps are just going in. So let's see what happens. Um, I don't exactly remember what happened in the gameplay. I just have like a vague memory. So I'm kind of watching it with you guys as well. <laughs> it's crazy seeing the wraps go off. I think I might be putting on wraps in like my next foot my next gameplay. Um this guy tries to do the old sneaky move. Can't escape from the Kuda and I see that I'm trapped in this room. There's like red dots everywhere. So I, I come around with caution. Kill him, jumped out the window, pop, kill that guy too. And I think I flank around here. And there should be a guy there. Nope. I was wrong. Ah, there he is. <laughs> and I killed. I, I go in. I, I go in and kill that guy from the other side. I think. No, I I came in. I completely lost. <laughs> so yeah, these guys are here running. Killed him. And this one, I got the hater. So I popped that, and I realized the gameplay was going really good. I see this guy at the top of the stairs, and I know that if you go up on the top of the stairs when they're looking at you, it's a pretty dangerous move because they're ready for you. But since I had that hater, I, I felt a little bit more confident. Um, this guy comes around completely oblivious to me. Like, clearly I'm in there. I was just shooting. But yeah, whatever. Um, I go up these stairs, waiting this guy, nothing. I was close. I popped that combat focus. Didn't get a kill yet, but... Boom, that's one. And I just needed five more points. But lucky for me that hater was there. So I got the got the mothership. And if you guys watched my last video, I said that I wouldn't use the mothership again, but you know I decided to give it another try because I learned something different with the mothership that I didn't know what to do last time with it. I, I figured out that you can actually move locations with the mothership and you can fire rockets. Before I never knew that. I thought you can only shoot and you, it moves by itself, but Apparently you can drive around. I wasn't reading the stuff in the bottom But after learning this it changed the mothership for me <laughs> Now they can't escape I see them instantly dead So you can see me just going off of the mothership right here. I actually tried the moving location and came over this side So yeah, I was shocked with this gameplay because you know when you learn something new, it's amazing. And this is the prime location that they could have been, the side of the map, so I could see both sides. <laughs> they just can't escape. <laughs> Getting trapped for days. Oh, I see. I think I ended this game with like 15 mothership kills. It's not a lot, but getting this mothership in TDM it was pretty hard because, you know, TDM ends at 100 kills. It's a pretty fast paced game. So, yeah, gotta control the game if you want to do this. <laughs> so. Getting like even one a game is amazing. If you get two of those, that's just mind blowing. So yeah, I got two kills right there. Finish this guy off right here. And I think the gameplay should be ending right about now. Yeah. 100 to 55. Completely annihilated the other team. I got 42 and 5. <laughs> Alright, here's another gameplay footage. Um I, I, I thought I'd try slapping more than one gameplays in the videos, you know, just to make them longer. I don't want to be like some cheap shortcut, you know, or just put like one video of one game. I think that's too cheap. I'd rather upload like more games. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it though. But yeah, I'm playing right here. Um, the, the team should be spawning behind me. You saw me run up and I didn't see anyone. I switched guns and you know that's a bad move. I had enough ammo in my first gun. I didn't need to switch gun, but I wanted to be prepared because you know usually I, I just go on like a killing rampage and I run out of ammo eventually. So that's why I keep picking up other guns. But yeah, I didn't need to that time. I probably would have killed the guy if I just used my Kuda. So yeah, I jump up here. I hate jumping up into the window because you never know what's in this room. Come around the corner. And lucky for me, I gave these guys the big old flank. <laughs> Two guy here. I have three guys here. I was chasing this guy down. I didn't want to shoot too early because I wanted to get all three. And I did. 
gotta wait for the right moment. And I saw that guy uh, at the window, and I thought that was uh, an enemy, but then I, I ran down here and realized it was my teammate, so that's why I flanked back over to this side. Um, so far the crew has been too nice to me though. Um, I don't know what else to, to put on it. I think with the attachments that I have on it are probably the best combination for the CUDA. Yeah, here I tried the other gun, and as you can see, it's not nice to pick up random guns because you know you're not, you're not like, you're you're um, you're not used to it at the moment. Even though you might know how to use the gun, you've been playing a couple games with a certain gun, you shoot better with that gun at the time. So yeah, I popped the combat focus there, trying to get you know at least three kills, but you know the time's going. It's hard to get three kills with a combat focus actually. Normally you get two at most because after you kill a big chunk of it goes away. If you can get three that's amazing because that means that more people are closer together so you can kill them in a shorter time frame. Uh, that's why it's, I find it hard to use the combat focus sometimes but I don't really like any of the other specialists. I think I'll try, I think I'll try out a couple more specialists in the other like future gameplays. But for now I think combat focus is like the best for me. Not because it like helps to get kill streaks, but just because I don't really use the specialist. And right there, I saw those two guys. I don't know what the hell they're doing. They're just like sitting there, and this guy ran into the wall. <laughs> he couldn't escape, so he he helped me get that that hater. Popped it. Got a kill right there. And now I'm running. I know they're spawning in front of me. You know the haters there. But I didn't want to be too. Oh, that was a sight. I almost died. I didn't want to be too uh, reckless with this gameplay. So you know, I just stuck back. Played as cautious as possible right here. Just waiting for them to come. I didn't want to run out. Normally, if if I wasn't so close, I would have rushed out. And I think I need to stop looking at it because when you look at it, you know that's when you start getting more nervous when you're playing. When you look at uh, how close you are to getting a kill streak. So, yeah, as I ran, as you can see, I ran back here. Um, yeah, I was getting nervous, so I I, I cut back, but I got the mothership, and after I get the mothership. That's when I get like completely relaxed and just kind of do whatever. So I rack up more death after I get motherships and kill streaks because you, know, you just feel like you accomplished something after you get it. But using that new technique that I have flying around the map, I just completely demolished these guys. They can't do nothing. The thing was right over their spawn. I think I pressed it by accident and moved locations uh, one time. But yeah, so it started spawning over there. I didn't want to move yet because you know I can clearly see them across but I think I should have flew over <laughs> um, but it doesn't matter they're running forward racking up those kills so I'm at like five kills in the mothership um, next gameplay I think I'm gonna try the wraps for sure from that last gameplay was it was crazy even though I picked up from someone's care package it was too crazy I don't like sitting in the mothership. I rather running around and killing. So yeah, that's why I don't like using the Cerberus or the Talon. Even I don't like controlling them. I, I think I get more kills with the gun than I get with the kill streaks, but they're nice to have. You see that? I got 50 kills in the mothership. <laughs> I don't really use it that much. Oh, I mean like 50 total kills. Yeah, I don't really use it that much. So right now we're sitting at 54 to 37, and. I think at this point I had like a good 20 kills. <clears throat> I had like yeah half the kills. The first game, if you saw the first the first gameplay that I uploaded before this one, um, I ended the game with like 42 or something like that. And then uh, if you think about it, that's in TDM. So 42 kills is like half the amount of kills. <laughs> so I got half the amount of kills of the the score that we're supposed to get. So that means everyone else got pretty much nothing. <laughs> Need stronger teammates, but uh, at the same time, when you have teammates that are too strong, it makes your gameplay harder when you're playing team deathmatch. That's why you gotta hope that you have like a nice, balanced team. You know, it's a team that has some good people and uh, some bad people on it, just to balance it off, or else you won't get yourself that many kills. They'll just be stealing all the kills, and you'll end up dying more actually. But yeah, so uh, started running here. I saw the hive, but you know, I, I ran in there and. Anyways, even though I probably shouldn't have, I knew it was there. I knew it was there. I knew I, I knew the hive was there as well, and I still ran into the room. <coughs> shouldn't have done that, but the past is the past. Whatever. Um. Also, I I think I'm gonna try doing um 
the live commentaries with the camera i i tried the camera out <laughs> i tried the camera out tried to set it up and stuff and it's hard to record with it to sync everything up is just near impossible so i'm still trying to figure it out that's why i don't have that commentary yet but for now i'll just be doing these voiceovers um let, let me know if you guys even like these voiceovers or anything i know i do keep the emblems on my uh channel i do like to upload like one or two emblems a week and other videos because you know i don't like to get stuck in the one stuck in the one theme of doing something i like playing the game so I like <laughs> i rather show off playing the game as well but yeah i popped that combat focus running around <laughs> and I, w I knew that guy was coming down the stairs but i was still running i should have had my gun ready if i had my gun ready i would have killed him and wouldn't have lost a kill streak <laughs> i saw the cerberus right there and i completely left but you know it didn't really matter because you know scythe and got trapped in the middle and you can see i'm just playing completely reckless i didn't know what to do and this side over there on the right side it just seems like it's too open so you have to play very cautious when you go over there and when you come over here you have to worry about the guys in the water and stuff and coming up the stairs so you got to be very observant. Yeah, see what I mean? The guy's in the water right there. I'm just spraying the hell. And I ran over back a bit just to escape him. <laughs> and then where I messed up was coming over here. Um, I know the CUDA. It's hard to hit people that far with the CUDA. And I still tried it. I shouldn't. I should have just left him alone because I already knew I couldn't kill them. They just know where my position is. Like the whole team will know my position is. And they can all just ambush me instead of me can trying to kill them silently. So right now I'm on like a little mini death streak, but it's cool, you know. I think I finished the game with a pretty good score. The CUDA is that gun right now. I, for the next uh, footage, I think I'll be trying out maybe the Razorback or probably the Pharaoh. I remember I used the Pharaoh when I just started. I loved it. I used to get a lot of kills with the Pharaoh, and not like what I'm getting with the CUDA right now, but. I think I went off of the Pharaoh, and I think right now, <clears throat> with the skills that I've gotten, I think I could do some good stuff with the Pharaoh. So be on the lookout for that video to come up in within a couple weeks. Also, I think I'm gonna be trying making some um some more uh, crypto key openings. I know I did one like way back. I don't know how that went with you guys. If you guys liked it or not. I really like doing it, so I'm going to upload another one. And for this, I'm going to try using the camera. I don't know how that's going to work. Doing the camera is really hard to set up, but, you know, just to give it my best shot. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoy these videos. Uh, the game's coming to an end now. I think we're down. Yeah, we're down 93 to 95. And you can see me just rushing as hard as I can to try and catch up to win. But, unfortunately, it wasn't enough. They were too. They were too close. I don't even know how they got up past us. I got, I got a mothership in the game, and I don't understand how they caught up. But yeah, so I ended that game with 45 and 10, 4.5 KD. Not bad. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys enjoyed it, please drop a like and remember to subscribe for more.